Hey guys, welcome to Echo of Soul. This is a massive game chock full of PvE and PvP content, customizable classes, and drop-dead gorgeous environments. There's too much here to fit in just one video, but we want to start with some of the awesome PvE options that EOS has in store. To do that, we're going to take you through a day in the life of a warrior. This is Magnus. Say hi, Magnus. It's a little early in the day and our friends haven't logged on yet, but that doesn't mean we can't hop into an instance anyway. Let's bash some heads in a solo dungeon. Without a party to back us up, we need to use all of our strongest attacks to dispatch our enemies. Monsters aren't the only danger either. There are a few tricks and traps in the environment as well. Like that cloud of poison there. A solo boss will only drop gear for the class you're playing, so it's a really efficient way to gear up for more late game content. And hey, even if you don't need the gear, there are leaderboards keeping track of the fastest clear times, so you can always compete against the rest of your server for bragging rights. Alright, we've picked up a few upgrades from the solo dungeon, so we're going to head to the city of Ignea for a break. Ignea is sprawling and picturesque, as a capital city should be. It's vast enough that there are even airships to provide shortcuts between districts. Once you've had a look around, you can spend some time chatting with fellow players and finding your next quest. There are over 1,600 quests in the game, so you'll be busy for quite a while. The city is also a great place to buy and forge new gear. Let's take the opportunity to deck Magnus out with some of his new armor. Ignea also happens to be the best place to find other players and hook up with your guildmates for party quests. Our friends have logged on and they're ready to rock. We're suckers for variety, so we're bringing the whole range of classes to this party. The Rogue. The Archer. The Guardian. The Sorceress. And of course, the Warrior. Okay, let's make tracks for a party dungeon. I know we're all in this for loot, glory, and more loot, but why not take some time to enjoy the sights? With almost 60 unique maps, there's no shortage of amazing views. Here we are. This is the Lost Crypt. As you might expect, you'll find a horde of monsters in here, but Echo of Soul's unique approach to combat means you'll be tackling them in new ways. There is no dedicated healer, so the entire party has to coordinate their defensive and support skills to stay alive. When you add this element of cooperative survival into the mix, even tried and true boss strategies will keep you on your toes. We also have the opportunity to switch specializations outside of combat. With all of the different possible party compositions, every run is sure to be a new and challenging experience. As a warrior, Magnus can either tank or go for sustained melee damage. The archer, on the other hand, can inflict maximum damage at range or buff the party in a support role. Great job, guys. Well, what are you waiting for? Check out that sweet loot. Go ahead and celebrate. You've earned it. Even after all that, there's still plenty of content we haven't hit yet. You can visit the infinite dungeons for randomly generated instances chock full of baddies. Here you can choose between seven difficulties and pick up better items based on how much of the dungeon you clear. You'll also run into newer, more powerful versions of bosses you've faced before. And of course, no MMO would be complete without towering epic raid bosses. We have both 10 and 20 player raids slated to come out soon after launch. Well, I'd say it's been a pretty rewarding day. Just look at all that new gear Magnus is sporting. But tomorrow is another day, and there's still so much to do. Maybe we'll check out some PvP next time. Magnus will be right here waiting for you.